this is their home territory. This is where they mentally has have just seemed the strongest. So Should we still curse them with the land curse though, considering they swapped out two of the players? It's the same thing that we say this G2 is no longer the same G2 that won so many titles. But WTG is waiting. Has that shotgun available? The M59 is gonna be able to pick up one at least. Corey will be able to respond as the ex Kairos will be going off. Rips will be finding yet another kill. And they're trying to apply a little bit more pressure onto the wall and get it opened or at least get it covered. But the crossfire is there from deep. Instantly shut down by Corey from range. However, seven seconds on. You've got to get the diffuser down. They still have verticality and you have barely a fraction of health. All they need is a graze of a bullet. But Corey is keeping him alive until Rat drops from the heavens. You're making me hungry as well right here, uh, Flute. But we still have a full best of three to go for as Leon Gates trying to go in early. We'll be able to find the entry frag here. He finds the entry, but is he going to be able to find more from there? Yes, he will. Picks up yet another kill. Shockwave will fall, and that is going to be the double entry that Rogue needed. For them to reevaluate and reassess how they actually want to put pressure onto this kitchen, and it's down to the two remaining Virtus Pro players. <gasps> wow, to do things like that. Great pick up there from Amizion. And they're also aware that someone is going to be coming from the bar and does Rask tried to go for a flank, but it was Aces waiting there. Shows it to the back of the freezer. It's going to get shot from the, well, all three angles at the same time. And Rogue able to pick up the round and that will be their first. Onto the tertiary bomb side. The kitchen that is. Corey is going to try and stick it. The pops come out and the pings and there's some zaps to try and drop it. Full health is able to get it dropped in time. But there's Pasha from the back stairs. Finds one. Gets downed in the process. It's a two versus one post plant. Look at the HP here, Fluke. As the first heads get popped off, that means they could potentially go for a defuse now because Jack is still with the hammer from above. Might be able to find the right angle. He gets taken down. And that means the mission will be able to get the clutch done. Virtus Pro able to pick up the round. The they weren't supposed to get here. 15 seconds. They need to go for an eventual plant. Now there is not enough time for them to try and go for the kills right here. They need to move. Shockwave will be picking up yet another kill. And it's VP yet again to snap their fingers and close out the round. WTG with a triple kill, I believe. And it's VP to go with a 5-1 lead into that second half. Of wow, the C4 doesn't quite make its way through the hole. And WTG gets to live and gets to instantly swarm into the bathroom. They have a big angle and they take care of rips. Look for the second and find it. Kajeka gets dropped at the top of White Stairs. Corey dug in in the freezer is able to pull one back as Ross is slowed down. There's a second and there's a, almost a third for Furtis Pro. And a mission is able to put them on two map points. Six, one. As the drop in now comes in, both members now finding themselves on site right here at VP. There's still going to be one holding off uh, the uh, VIP member. And one more from above. Rips will be able to start things off though. Diffuser will be dropped, not to the second time though, as Rask will be able to get himself in bunker. Has to go for a plan though. Three seconds left. He will be covered off by Pasha. Is it going to be enough, however? No, it doesn't seem to be the case. The time is running out. Is he going to be able to get this kill? No, he's not. The plan, however, goes down. And Rask manages to get it. He wanted to go for the secure for that kill, for the down he had. And thus VP will manage to win it. Get it in 7-2-2. A very convincing first map to come into the hands of Furtis Pro. I mean, what a way to start this tournament in their books. What a way for them to have said before, early on they were asserting aggression, they were asserting a dominance, and they were asserting themselves as a team to watch. I myself have written them down as too well. For um, information gathering, but not for actual plan denial to come through. And as a Shockwave will finally respond, that is going to be one of the members of Rogue to be gone. A second one to be taken down as well. Rask. Well, now's yeah. the pressure. Now's the moment to see if you can capitalize upon this. And Karshek is actually going to be the first down. A mission with another double kill. There is the round for Virtus Pro. Two players I talked about. One having a standout first game and one not quite needing to. Both of them with a bit of concern. But this could go very badly. Doesn't see them. There is the pickup. There's the trade. Pushed your luck a little bit too far, and unfortunately. And Shockwave tries to put himself into a good position right here. Spots out one head. He's not going to be able to land. It actually does land a shot. Heals his Corey right now. Sneaking through construction. Spots out the player of WTG right there, but he's not going to be able to land the kill until much later. They're unaware of his position right now. Where is Pasha at as he is on the bad? Didn't expect the elevated level. And Aces will be able to pick up that kill. Rogue. Will be winning round number two, and that is quicker than in the last map. With a body either side, it's a sheer no man's land. Finds the first with an amazing swing there. You know they're playing on this highway window. You know you need to get this kill before you can do anything. 
but Rips knows exactly where you're coming from. Rogue, for the first time today, find themselves a step ahead it was very much as close as you can make it. Shockwave will go down. Resk, however, will be going for an adventurous jump out here, and he will be able to get the kill. Aces will be responded to. That's your touch are gone. And it is pure risk and reward. We saw it before, and it failed. We see it here again, and it takes care of the Thatcher in such a utility-heavy push and burn. You can still see the wall still standing. Well, apart from that one, WTG to get a little bit more revenge from the top of Red's stairs. There is a bit of movement and aggression. There is another one that falls all down to rips with only 10 seconds left on the board. No hope and no way out of a crossfire that well put together. Very well put together indeed. This is dug in underneath the body above. They're burning all of the ADS that they can, but Leon and Rips find one apiece, dodges and dances around the rain of grenades, and Leon is here to try and offer some support, but there is the cover from WTG. Second frag grenade goes up, and Rips goes down. Actually lost caught, Barney, you hope she's done what she needs to, and you've almost lost, well, you do lose your thermite too. So far, I've been pretty pleasant for you. The fuser is dropped onto the mezzanines, and so I. Corey from above will be finishing him up with the SMG and Rogue will be picking up their first defensive round. Diffuser upstairs as well, and they don't have the oh, kitchen yes. hatch open, so they have to go around and grab it and get themselves and back down. All they have to do now, because they rotated back round, is burn utility and just try and push through the openings that they have. But there is Leon round the back of pipes and round the back of VP to get another round for Rogue. Gotta say it's very smart of Leon to move up these stairs here in this well, stage of the round. The slightly really. weaker side of the defense and well up to try and take out Corey, which does obviously not go in your favor. There's a jump out and there's a huge risk from Aces. Who cares? C4 gets popped in. It's not going to be able to deal any damage. Corey will take down WTG and that means it's all up to a mission now. A one-man army. Is he going to be able to get it? That's the question though. He starts it off strong. He knows behind the shield right now. Could pre-fire is all he needs. He's not going to be landing it. Rips will be able to pick it up, but that means Rogue is going to be on map point and is looking to push us towards a map number three. Five drones available to them as the second exotermic charge will be placed down, but I believe it got impact tricked as well. And if that's the case, it will be very unfortunate for them. Aces starts things off. Leon gets them follows up as well, but it's Pasha to come in for one return at least. They really need to find one soon. It's going to be Shockwave to move through, able to pick up that kill. Turns it back into equal numbers as he picks up yet another one. It's going to be Pasha to move through. Is he going to be able to find the last one as well as he swaps to the bearing nine? No, he gets taken down. It's all up to rips right now. The time <gasps> runs out. Rogue will win it. There was not enough time for the player to rotate around, and that means that good halves are coming out. Rogue will be pushing us to map number three. At the moment, it seemed like the attack of Virtus Pro was starting to gain some ground. I did a full gasp there. That was a, I heard it. That was a full gasp. That was, <laughs> imagine it coming down to the wire when someone's just lying on the floor and waiting. Yeah. Echo and Thatcher off the board. It's a familiar set of faces, unfortunately, sitting this the one out. The fact that someone is speaking his left doesn't see it as well as the barrel sticks out. Now he does, goes aggressive, picks up one, goes across the rotation right here. Might be able to pick up the second one as well. No, he falls. As rips to pick him up, Corey then to respond. He peeks that door in a second from now on, and there's nothing they can do to try and stop it. WTG picks up the kill to Corey. That turns it all up to rips right now. His position is known. There's only eight seconds left as he tries to go for these last two peaks in a row. But as the plan goes down, his booty will be sticking out. Pasha gets the just kill. Because it's a slow and steady approach, and they are still winning their defenses, so it might just not be as fully tested as it usually is. Ooh. By Leon. This is dangerous, though. Look at that. The shield will now be down. There's no reinforcement to follow up, but it's going to be Rask with a beautiful kill to come through. If he was going to try and trick that, whether he's got any left to actually try and stop the flow, Pasha is instead just going to wide swing on to try and pull it back into their favor. But with only five seconds left, it is nothing more than bullets in the wind as Virtus Pro take their second. It's nothing he could have done there. He might have been able to give one, maybe two kills, but look at the shield, look at the angle. That... Right now, the push seems to be coming through. They want to get that showers control. They want to get this hallway control, but it's going to be Corey that goes down. He will be spotted out. The impact will finish him off. The Pokeball comes in. Pasha gets the confirm, and that leaves in a three and five situation now as the Elder just holds the left mouse button. Rask will be right here on the shield, able to confirm yet one more kill as he goes for reload. He knows he's getting pushed, but his arm sticks out, and that means Leon will be able to respond to that one, but he will instantly be responded on himself. He would still a clash on the board. They're completing their rotation as they do right now, and that means three on O is the current score. 
There's going to be three more rounds for them to try and lock out as well. A little bit more of a swing and hope. Goodbye, Rask. Is uh, utility open? But Leon doesn't care. Leon has decided he needs to start killing people. Or even Leon gets, or even the player right there into the kitchen as he's about to move through. There we go, Aces goes down. Goes with the C4 kill. That's gonna be a kill landed as well. Ribs goes down, and so we're in a three on three situation again. And then blow the other Maverick out of the wall. Might not know the defuse is there. Might not know that the hatch isn't fully cleared. Takes a risk and tries to rotate back down, and that hands one to Leon. Two versus two. Rogue are in a good position, but all of it comes from the heroics of Leon Gids earlier. It's down to Kajeka and Corey to try and capitalize. WTG from deep gets one. It's going to be a swing close quarters with a big sniper that doesn't quite land the hit. Goes in with secondary, but a shotgun is the match there made for Virtus Pro to take another round. And it doesn't quite go to both these laundry machines. Goes down with the SMG 11 by the hands of Leon Goddens. But Rask is there to respond. And as I say, that he gets responded on himself. It's a responsaption as Leon gets takes him out. Pasha is looking for the battle back and the fight. And what an unfortunate time to do that. What? <laughs> Corey what doing? took full advantage of. Oh, that is that is something you just gonna try and forget there, WTG. That must have been the weirdest moment to barricade a window that I've ever seen. There was absolutely no reason. <laughs> <laughs> to go for a barricade in the two and four situation. Drone is going to give a bit of a game away as it swings onto the door ever so slightly. Dropped, but they know where he is. And they're going to try boldly to swing it, but there's a lot of bullets in that gun. And you shouldn't try and step against Leon when he's on this much of a tear. It's definitely not a good idea to try and peek out onto the Maestro in his showers as he has 84 bullets in that magazine. And we'll just pick them all apart and Rogue will be able to win yet another round. Some of these lines of sight, and there we go. Smokes have been deployed. It's going to be the swing from Pasha down onto the player of Aces. The plant will go down. Shockwave is not being affected by the smoke whatsoever. The blue jump in comes through. Kazeka, however, will be able to stop him. And suddenly we're in a two and two situation. Six seconds left. The jump in comes through. Rips will not be able to find that kill. It's all up to Kazeka. Now, but he will be taken down. Virtus Pro yet will be able to win the round. Pure off ragging power right here. Moving in in these last 10 seconds, even though a bugged opening. Oh, Rogue, they feel it slipping away. 60 seconds. Seconds left. They need to hold on. A lot of damage is being done. A lot of pressure is being put down by VP. As right now, they have that boiler control. And Shockwave will be taking down Rips as well. It's another kill to come in as Pasha will be able to take care of Corey. And it seems to be slipping even more so. And there we go. Virtus Pro with a flawless round to finish it off. How else would they have done it? As they will be moving themselves up to the upper bracket finals and knock the tournament favorites for many down into the elimination match. Will be played later today. Rogue, a story on mages and the many sad chapters that it seems has continued at least for now. But obviously, it's a double a limb. It is far from over for them. We saw the brilliance and the lightning that we expected from them.